also, the last few years, we have really actively tried to get as many chemicals out of our house as possible. And uh, so today I just wanted to show you a simple way that you can lessen the chemical load in your home, just with something as simple as the soap that you put on your hands several times a day. And if you are like us and you live on a farm, it's more than several times a day. It's pretty much all day long. So we go through soap super, super fast. So I wanted to show you um, how I make our soap. So you can get bottles like this on Amazon and I'll link this in our description uh, for these, but these are actually plastic, but you can get glass bottles if, you're, uh, if you want to use glass bottles. And these are foaming bottles. And what you're gonna do, I'm gonna make one for each of our sinks in our home. So we've got a kitchen sink, we've got a um, main bathroom sink, and then our girls have a bathroom sink in their room. And the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna add about two tablespoons of um, Castile soap, unscented Castile soap. And I get Dr. Bronner's and I order this online on Amazon and I'll link that also in, in the description. But you wanna put about two tablespoons and y'all know if you watch our stuff, I don't measure things. So we're gonna uh, put approximately two tablespoons. Okay. And we'll do that in each of them. Okay, and then you're gonna put a tablespoon of uh, fractionated coconut oil. I get mine from doTERRA, um, but you can also order fractionated uh, coconut oil on Amazon as well, and I can put a link to that in the description also. You're gonna put about a tablespoon of this. And this is different than the coconut oil that you buy to uh, cook with and all that kind of stuff because this actually does not ever solidify. Okay, so I've got those going. And then, this is the fun part, then you just get to pick whatever scents that you want for your hand soap. So I'm gonna do something different in every room. I'm going to actually, the first one I'm gonna do a wild orange and peppermint. And I'm gonna do uh, about five drops of each. Wild orange. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, peppermint. That's gonna smell awesome. Okay, then I'm actually, the next one I'm gonna do a peppermint and um, melaleuca, which is tea tree oil. So I've got my peppermint again. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna do five drops of melaleuca. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then the last one I'm gonna do a little something fun um, and add some citrus. So this is gonna be a very citrusy uh, uh, scented hand soap. And this is actually doTERRA's Slim and Sassy. Um, proprietary blend it's a metabolic blend but it's got a lot of citrus um, essential oil in it so it's gonna smell really really good and since I only used um, this one I just put 10 drops that's what I was putting in each of them but you know the other ones I was combining so all right we've got that and then all we've got to do now is add our water I'm not gonna get it too full because I've gotta have room to put the pump in. Let me make sure that this is, okay. That's gonna work out about right. 
So there's our citrus blend. I'm just kind of shake that up a little bit and that one's ready to go. Shake it up, mix it up. And um, that was so easy. You see how easy that was? And now we have soap for each of our sinks in our house um, for a good couple of weeks, maybe more. Uh, just depends. But um, if you want to, you can uh, write on here what blend you've used. Um, make up a fun little name for whatever scent that you feel like you've come you've uh, created with the different essential oils um, but that's a super easy way of getting rid of some of those chemicals and it's just good for you it's healthy it um, the having these oils on your hands and smelling them um, is going to depending on the blend it's going to improve your mood it's going to um, help you to uh, breathe better. I mean, just all kinds of things um, give you more energy. And uh, that's just what our essential oils do for us. And having them in our soap is just another way of getting them into our homes and in our bodies and just help support our, um, our healthy lifestyle. So I hope this has encouraged you to make your own. It was easy um, and uh, relatively inexpensive. If you are buying soap at the store um, every week or every month or whatever, however often you do it, then um, you know it can get pretty pricey. So this is a great way to save some money. Uh, it didn't take much, uh, many of our essential oils. And if you're interested in um, purchasing some of these oils that I use from doTERRA, then I will have a link down in the description as well where you can go and um, and purchase these. And uh, if you don't know anything about essential oils, I've also got a Google document that um, is like a little form for you to fill out just to let me know what you're interested in learning about them because a lot of people have never heard of them or if they've heard of them, they don't really know anything about them. They don't know how to use them, what benefits there are to them, and where to get them, get good quality ones. And um, I can I can attest to the fact that uh, these are good quality, so you won't be going wrong with these. But um, if you'll do that for me, and just give me some feedback, um, comment on this video and let me know what are your favorite essential oil blends to use in your soap or any of your cleaners around the house. I hope to do some more videos soon about all natural cleaners using essential oils and different things. So if you'll give me some feedback, I would love it so I can make some videos that you want to see and uh, in with different ways of using your essential oils in your home. So I hope you guys are having a good day.